To create a definitive starting point for learning how to make 2D games in Unreal Engine, I started the Paper 2D Basics series. This series covers all the important aspects of making 2D games throughout 10 episodes. At the time of making this video, episode 1 and 2 are released on YouTube and you can check them out from the playlist link in the description. The other episodes will release one by one over the next couple of months. However, if you decide to join the $6 tier on my Patreon, you can get instant access to all 10 episodes right now. This is a great way to support the channel and get a head start with learning 2D game development in Unreal Engine. Let me give you a quick overview of everything that will be covered in this series. Episode 1 lays the groundwork and explains in detail what Paper 2D even is. It gives you an overview of all the different components and asset types that come with Paper 2D. And also explains what plugins are available that make 2D game creation easier. Episode 2 teaches you where you can actually find 2D assets to use with Unreal Engine. If you're used to Unity, it's very easy to find great free assets on the official marketplace. However, that's not the case with Unreal Engine. This episode will introduce you to some alternatives and also the sites I always use to get my assets for tutorials and my own games. Episode 3 will teach you all about sprites. I first go over how you can import them and also how you can get around potential issues with this process. I'll also explain important settings on your sprites such as pixel per unit, pivot point and so on. Episode 4 is all about sprite sheets. We'll use what we learned in episode 3 to import them but then also go over how we can extract our frames from the sprite sheet. I'll also go over all the potential issues here and show you what settings you can tweak to improve this process. Episode 5 will teach you about the best project settings for Paper 2D. When making a 2D project in Unreal Engine, there are quite a few settings we need to tweak to make sprites look better or make the project more performant, which we'll cover here. In episode 6, I'll cover materials. First, I'll go over the differences between lit and unlit materials and then also show you how you can create your own custom material and what benefits that gives you. In episode 7, we'll make a side-scrolling character. Some of the things taught here are quite similar to my 2D platform project. However, here we're using the enhanced input system that became the default with Unreal Engine 5.1. I'm also taking things slower here and explaining things about the character in more detail. We're also covering how to perfectly align your sprite with the ground, how to prevent your character from just snapping up or down ledges, and things like that. In episode 8, we build up on the character we created to show how events and notifies work with Paper 2D. When making 3D games or using Paper ZD, it's very easy to trigger events at certain points during your animations. However, with base Paper 2D, this process is a lot more involved. Even when you plan on using Paper ZD in the end though, this video will teach you good fundamentals that will come in handy. Episode 9 will again use the side scrolling character and this time add sockets to the sprites. We can use sockets for things such as attaching clothing or specifying a position to spawn particle effects or projectiles at. Episode 10 is the last episode of this series and will cover tile sets and tile maps in depth. This is probably the weakest part of Paper 2D since it was abandoned during development. However, if you know some tips and tricks, you can still make great usage out of the timelap editor and I'll show you how to. I hope this series will give you a good lesson plan to follow and really get down the fundamentals of making 2D games with Unreal Engine. Once you've mastered this, it will be a lot easier for you to follow along with the other tutorials on my channel and also give you more confidence when making your own 2D and 2D 3D hybrid games. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, please consider joining the Patreon to get early access to all 10 episodes right now and support Cobra Code.